to share one of the most exciting features of your online student center, and that is the ability to create your own personal website. It's a really great way to advertise your brand and grow your business as an event or wedding planner. So to begin, we're going to go to personal website up at the top and down to details. The very first thing I want to mention here is when you've included something on this page, always save your changes by clicking the update button. This is something that's very easily forgotten, but it means that anything that you've changed will not show up. And this button can be found at the very bottom of the page. Moving on to the search, index, search engine indexing, if you want people to be able to find your website through a search engine like Google, make sure you've checked this off. Now as you scroll down, you'll see fields where you can include your, your basic information, uh, your name, your profession, your city and country. If there's anything that you don't feel comfortable including, you absolutely don't have to. You don't need to include your phone number or email address if you're not comfortable with that. There's also a field where you can put in your website, if you have one. And this is where the creative side comes in a little bit. You have the opportunity to put in a tagline, and then you can start filling in information about your business. So the introduction and a biography. I just want to mention that instead of putting in this information directly into these text fields, we suggest doing it in a Word document first. That way you have a chance to edit and go over it, and then you can just copy and paste it here. If you do it directly into this site, sometimes it can time out and you'll lose everything that you did. So you definitely don't want to do that. As you move down, you'll see you have an opportunity to put in the services that you offer. And then at the bottom here, your social media pages. Just to give you an idea of what that looks like. So as you can see here, we have our name, our profession, and then everything that we've included. So the tagline, the introduction, the bio, etc. The social media pages will appear right at the top right. Okay, moving on, uh, you definitely want to include a portrait so that your clients know who you are. We are a little group of penguins today. Just upload a professional looking photo and it'll show up on your page right here. Moving on to service locations. Now what this means, we have a database on our site called Find Professionals. I'll just show you what that looks like here. This includes all of our event and wedding planning students and graduates. So somebody who's looking to hire an event or wedding planner can come here and search for their country, state, region, or city, and potentially your name will pop up. So that's why when you're filling in these fields, it's very important to think about which areas that you would like to service and that are, you're able to service. Under pictures, this is where you can put your portfolio of work. So choose the best photos and just upload them right here. And they'll show up on your page right here under portfolio. If you've received a really great testimonial from a client, definitely put it. It's a great way to advertise your services even more and we give you the opportunity to do that in this section of the page. Profile visibility. If you're still editing your page, you can disable your profile by clicking this button. When you're ready for it to be visible, Click Enable Profile, and then it'll show up online. And that's all. So have some fun with this, play around, and build the best website you can possibly build. Thanks so much for watching.